Hi everybody, Nick McDonald here. Welcome to this week's ICE commentary for the Russell 2000 and US equity markets. Uh, let's start with the Russell and looking at the weekly chart. These lines are lines I've just uh, had drawn on my charts marking our major support and resistance levels and they're still there since last week. And interestingly, the low and the high of last week are pretty much bang on those lines that I drew there last week marking out support and resistance. So in other words, what this really was last week was a ranging week. Now, as you know, back here I was looking for a move down and looking for a lower high to form. I actually got a decent little move down there on that one day, but it just had no follow through and it's really back up. But we're still within that range, we're still at resistance, and we're still up here at these major highs on the Russell and really just looking to see you know, how strong is this trend now, can it push up through there. Now, just recapping analysis, I've been saying for many weeks now that these monthly charts are overextended and at highs, they're a long way from the apertures, and they're due a bit of a pullback. Now that pullback could be months away, but it also could be very soon. So I'll be looking at daily and weekly charts to try and time where I think that entry might be for a bigger pullback. It was starting to look that way last week, but even now the fact we've put in a higher low here than the previous, so this high is higher than the previous low, and we've just nudged up ever so slightly to a higher high. It's not terribly convincing yet because we haven't actually closed up above this 8.30 level and equally we really need to push up through these upper regions of 8.50 to really show strength. But nonetheless, if we now look at this on a weekly chart, it's a little bit like a situation we had back here a number of weeks ago where I was bearish at the time looking for that bigger week monthly pullback which didn't occur and I had no choice here but to switch bullish again. Well now when we look at the candles and we look purely at what's happening right here on the weekly it is bullish. We've pulled back on the weekly chart, we've pulled back into the buy zone, we've got two bullish candles. The only thing slightly against this of course is that we've still got right at those highs these major resistance levels. So even if we do break up through last week's high now which is which would be the bullish sign for this week so if we look at last week's high the high was 8.32, so any break above 8.32 will be a bullish sign, but only really for a push up towards 8.50 for me, because anything beyond that was going to need a pretty big push. So I'm going to go switch back to cautiously bullish in the short term, but cautiously because I'm still, my preferred trade uh, in the nearer term is for a short trade on a pullback on the monthly chart. However, in the short term I've got to go with the flow of the market, and these charts are undeniably bullish at this moment in time. I, by the way, won't take a long position quite yet. Any stop would be too wide and resistance overhead is too uh, too strong. I'll just be cautiously bullish in terms of I'll take more aggressive short-term trades in that direction on lower time frames this week. And I'll come down to even things like four-hour charts and see is there any entry, is there any place to time an entry for a longer trade in, especially as it starts to look, even just for a run from 8.30 up towards 8.40 and 8.50 could provide quite a good run north. Uh, let's have a quick look at some of the other markets because, for example, the Dow uh, is also looking quite bullish if it breaks up through last week's high. So here's our run up. We had a pullback here. We've had another run up. We've had a decent pullback. Not the monthly pullback, but still we've pulled back into the weekly buy zone. We've now got a small bullish candle there, which is a very bullish sign. And if we break up through the high of that candle, we've got to run north. The reason I'm more bullish on the Russell is because when I look at some of these other markets, there's resistance is nowhere near as close. So on the Dow, for example, if we break up through there, well, we really have got no resistance until around about 12,700. So if the Dow runs up, if the stocks continue here this week, we get a bullish break up through that high, then the Dow is likely to pull other stocks higher. And if we look at the NASDAQ as well, as another example, the NASDAQ 2 is probably the most bullish of them all. In fact, it's had its third pullback into the buy zone there. These candles on the weekly chart are very, very bullish indeed. The indicators here are still showing no signs at all of a pullback. They're still bullish, uh, converging to the upside, making new highs as price makes new highs. Pulled into the buy zone, two bullish candles, looks really strong. And actually, if we just, on that same weekly chart, if we look where overhead resistance is, it's a long way away. We don't really have anything major coming up. Therefore, nothing stopping the NASDAQ going higher and looking bullish on the weekly, nothing stopping the Dow going higher while looking bullish on the weekly. There is something in the way on the Russell, and that's why I remain a little bit more cautious on that until I see it break up through there. But right now, I remain bullish in the short term while looking for that bigger term pullback and just watching, and I'll continually watch these daily and weekly charts to see where that entry might be. But also, just remember, it's very, very dangerous to do things like look at a monthly chart and say, this is overextended, I'm going to short it. Uh, and to do it far too soon. I'm really going to try and time my entry. I've actually had a couple of decent short trades against that monthly trend uh, trying to get onto the move and I've had a couple where I got to my one-to-one -one target quite quickly, locked in a winning trade, 
uh, and then it didn't follow through. But at some stage it will follow through. But at the short term, I'd rather remain with the momentum of the market. And right now, the momentum of the daily and weekly charts has switched back into uptrend mode. Therefore, we're looking to trade on the long side this week. Happy trading all. Hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll speak to you next Monday.